Uh, there we go, lovely. So hopefully this will be familiar to, I would say, probably 75% of you. I've had a look through the registrations for today's session. I see most of you are on the most recent Dynamics 365 version, so this shouldn't be too uh, frightening for you. But I did notice there was a few older versions of CRM as well. So this is obviously the new interface for Dynamics 365. Um, you will be hopefully familiar with the charts and visualizations that come as part of the Dynamics solution. Um, these are you know, easy to set up, easy to control, but they offer limited functionality in terms of getting analytics out of the platform. So um, what Power BI as a cloud-driven analytics platform provides is the ability to take Dynamics 365 data as well as you know, lots of other different data sources, but we're gonna focus primarily on Dynamics 365 today and turn that into the sort of um, easy to view, easy to understand visualizations and analytics that uh, business decision makers and analytics people inside organizations are looking for in this day and age. So I'm just gonna flick over to a, another tab here. And this is the Dynamics 365 for sales, um, as Warren mentioned, uh, content pack that comes delivered with Power BI. So the, the configuration for this is very simple. You just give it your um, Dynamics 365 URL. This needs to be Dynamics 365 online. I just should point out at this point, there are other ways of connecting to on-premise um, data sets and stuff like that. But for the purposes of today, we'll be looking at the online platform. As we can see here, in, in, uh, in difference to the, the, the six standard tiles that you get with the standard charts and dashboards, the ability to have multiple different views, charts, map style dashboards, different start styles of charts and visualizations are all possible with Power BI. So if you've got a question that you need an answer to, then the likelihood is that there is a way to get, presuming you have the information in Dynamics, to get those answers out into an easy to understand um, visualization that you pop on a dashboard and get access to when you load into Dynamics. If I click on one of these tabs, this will take me through to Power BI itself. Um, so uh, Warren mentioned at the start, the Power BI solution comes comprised of a set of reports and dashboards. So what we're displaying in that previous screen was a dashboard. And if we click on any of these dashboard tiles, we get taken to the underlying report. So as you can see here, this is a report with 10 or so different tabs of information and analytics. On each tab, there's different charts, different views. So there's a wealth of information that you can get access to via the standard content pack for sales. Now, obviously, this will only look at standard fields within Dynamics. Um, these can be amended and uh, you can change these reports to bring in some custom fields if you need to, but that requires some uh, work in what's, what's known as the Power BI desktop designer. Um, but that's you know, something we've done for a number of different clients. Uh, it looks at the, obviously, you can see here, open revenue by industry. It's looking at the industry field of the account for which those opportunities are open. And in the bottom here, we've got geographic views. So we can mouse over these and see the values. So nice and easy to use. And if we click on any of these tabs, then these visualizations will all update to filter based on what you've clicked on. So say, for example, we want to click on broadcasting and printing, and immediately all the other visualizations on the page will update to highlight the information that we clicked up here. So it's way more um, responsive and gives you much more capability of getting down to the information that you're looking for with just a few clicks. So I'm gonna leave that one where it is for the moment and we're gonna look at another one of the content packs that comes uh, configured with Dynamics 365, which is the customer service analytics uh, content pack. So if you're a customer service organization, in cases or incidents through Dynamics 365, pretty easy to quickly set up and configure the customer service analytics content pack, which looks, as you would imagine, at cases. So you can see here, quick and easy cases, SLAs, customer service percentages. And again, if I click through on one of these tiles, it will take me through to the underlying report. And in this case, there are six tabs associated with the customer service content pack currently. And as we can see here, we've got you know, act, the reports about active cases, reports about agents, so who, who's closed the most cases, and you can make these available to anybody that has um, Power BI Pro licensing. So uh, 
click this there, click through it, quick and easy setup, and then make that available throughout the organization and everyone can get the benefits of this sort of analytics information based on stuff that's in Dynamics 365. So those are two of the uh, content packs that come pre-configured with Dynamics. Um, just going to click over to my, yeah, I've got lots of pre click over to my next tab here. And this is one that's looking at a combination of data. So this is looking at, uh, in this case, um, click dimensions, email data um, that's come through into Dynamics. So we can see here we've got a chart showing um, year on year email clicks on emails that we've sent out by month. So at the bottom here, you can see January, February, March, and the different line charts or the area charts here indicate the years that we're looking at. Now, this is a, an old data set. Uh, we're not showing live data today or anything else. That's too, too stressful to even deal with, but it gives you an idea of the sort of thing that you can do here. And again, this is information coming from Google Analytics. So paper clicks, goal completions, that sort of thing. Again, custom visualization here showing the um, click keywords that people have clicked on within emails. Obviously, the larger the word, the more often they get clicked on. So any source that you want to combine with Dynamics 365 data, you can mash those up within, within Power BI and export these sorts of charts and visualizations to give you another way of looking at multiple sets of data and combined with what's going on in Dynamics. Just clicking over here again. Okay, so again, this is another content pack that comes uh, as part of the Dynamics 365 offering. And this is the process content pack. Now this one's a little bit more complex, but what this is looking at is, um, most of you should be aware of the process flows that come within Dynamics. So for example, on a case, I've got the case one selected here. So you've got various stages on a case and you get uh, analytics as to the amount of time that, that process was started, the amount of time that any case was spent, or the average amount of time that cases were in that stage. So we can see by this box and whisker chart down the bottom here, um, identify stage, the maximum amount of time that something was in an identify stage was 23 hours, the minimum was one hour, the average was eight hours, the median was four. So you've got lots of information and analytics available to you at a glance. And again, we can click through on anything on this, oh, I didn't mean to click that one. Okay, anything on, the, on this chart or then should, um, filter anything else out here. So if I, let's pick identify because I don't oh, know. Okay, we'll move on from here. I don't know what's going wrong with that. But it should give you the ability to then click through and filter out anything that's not relevant and only hone into what is relevant. Now, going back to the sales analytics that we started with here. So we've got all our uh, sales analytics data here. You know, our one revenue this quarter, again, is a nice, easy to read figure our one revenue this year, how many opportunities we've won this year, what was the average deal size. So lots of information that should be immediately relevant to any salespeople out there. But we might wanna look more deeply at this. So I might want to see, okay, well, this is all very well, but what I need to know is who are my top 10 customers? I've got the button up here to open this report in Power BI. So that'll take us through to who we can see at the top here, the Power BI service. Let me just do that again one second. And we'll take us through directly to that report that we were looking at, but in Power BI itself. So here we go, that's that exact same report, but now we're in the Power BI interface. Now at the top here, we've got a little box, ask a question about your data, which uh, as was mentioned at the start, we can start using natural language queries to start asking questions of our data. So in this case, who are our top 10 accounts by revenue, and here are our top 10 accounts by revenue. So uh, this uses the Coltana machine learning to look at our data, work out what you're trying to ask from the question, and then present you with the results of that question. So you can, as long as your data is fairly well labeled, Coltana will do a reasonably good job of knowing exactly what it is you're looking for, and try and surface information that is relevant and important to you. Similar to that, you've got the idea of insights. So uh, if we go to, hang on a second, if I just click into one of these, we'll go back into the relevant report here. Okay, so we're looking at uh, sales performance. So we can see here, this is the sales performance tab, and we can see obviously lots of different visualizations and charts 
as with all this other stuff, if I just wanted to see Petrochem, I'll click on Petrochemical, and everything else on the screen then updates to only show me what I'm clicking on here. So the only petrochemical customer for this particular organization is Germany. Whereas if I click, I just want to see Belgium's data, we can go through here and this will, in this way, this will say, okay, well, the Belgium customer, you can see it's slightly dimmed everything that's not applicable in the industry and it's just highlighting the company that's really applicable here. Now, uh, where do I need, hang on a second, right. So if I go down to the bottom here and go to my data set, so I'm just gonna to go to here and I'll go to my data set, here we go. We can see here, we can get quick insights based on the report that we've got. So if I click that, that's then, that then uh, makes a call to the, again, the Cortana machine learning service and that will take our data and look up and see, okay, what can I, what can I as a machine learn about this data? What correlations can I find between data points in the set? Can I surface some interesting insights that maybe you as a user have not spotted? So we'll just leave that going. I don't, it says we're gonna notify that when the insights are ready, so that might take a little while. So while that's doing that, we'll look at something else. Okay, so the last tab here, just a, an example of some of the other things you could do with Power BI. Um, this is information pulling from GoToWebinar, which you are all connected to, uh, feeding through click dimensions. And this is looking at here, the time of days that people, you all registered for this particular session. So you can see here, the majority of people registered for this webinar in, uh, in the uh, mid afternoon. Um, some people were up at three o'clock in the morning, but I think that's some of our uh, uh, abroad colleagues. So. But, and we can see here from the chart here, when you were asked to make a uh, indication of what system you were currently using, when you registered for the webinar, I would, well, I can see here, 80% of you are already using Dynamics 365. So that's a good number, but there's a small number of other organizations that are using older versions here. And we can see the trends for when people actually registered for this webinar. So using this data, we can make the, quick and easily make these sorts of charts and visualizations, which give us a good coverage of bringing out insights from the data that we've got. Because obviously data, having a database full of data, having a CRM system full of data is great, but if it's just sat there being data, it's not helping anybody. So the more and the easier it is to get information out of, I don't know whether this is gonna finish in time, whether this is um, gives you more information to get insights from, you can push, anything, whether it be Dynamics 365 data, you can in, in, you know, import your e-marketing data, you can include uh, online services like Google Analytics, like any of the other services, you could include your accounts platform, bring in data from there, mash that up with Dynamics 365 data. So bringing the information and the data out of CRM, out of the old style fixed reports, you know, printed reports, or the, the, the fairly static charts and tiles of um, Dynamics 365 and bringing in Power BI to give you way more comprehensive information and insight into the data service. I'm sure you can appreciate how much of a um, benefit that's gonna bring you. Now, the final thing I just wanna look at here, this is not data from Dynamics 365, but another one of the things that Power BI will enable you to do is connect to live data, live streaming data. So in this case, we've got a couple of different streaming um, data sets coming up here. So in the bottom there, we can see we've got two Internet of Things sensors. So me measuring humidity and measuring temperatures in real time. And at the top there, that's just a streaming data set of stock trades as and when they happen. So it doesn't have to be about the static data within the database. You can start bringing in data from wherever you can get your data from, visualize it in static charts or constantly refreshing charts to give you the sorts of visibility and analytics and insight capability that the BI platform will offer you. But I hope that's been uh, interesting as far as a, you know, a quick introduction to what Power BI can do for you, particularly in terms of Dynamics 365, but also with you know, all the other solutions that we've mentioned. 
And um, just like to say now that we're just going to leave the line open for uh, any questions that you might have or um, any comments that you might have. But for the moment, um, 